Hey there friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Jams. I am Kathy. I'm happy to see you. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for stopping by today. I greatly appreciate it. Welcome to another day in the month of a spice mess. Yes, we're doing it. We're doing a video a day in the month of December. So thank you for trudging through <laughs> some of these videos with me. Hopefully you are enjoying yourself. I know I'm having a great time. And as always, please feel free to uh, comment. Um, give, you know, if you want to give me a thumbs up, if you want to give me a thumbs down, you know, it's all love. You know, you're taking energy to push the button up or down or to comment. So, hey, it's all good. <laughs> It's all good. So thank you. We are going to look at my, I had to think what month it was. It's Spicemas, so it's December, but this is the November Glossy Box. And I do my beauty box unboxings as a review. So I'm going to show you what I received in the month of Decem December. I'm going to show you what I received in the month of November from Glossy Box and give you my review of the products. So Glossy Box does come in an outside shipper. It's beautiful. It's black with some kind of white polka dots, which is really their logo. And um, it is a $21 a month, $21 or $21.95 a month beauty subscription. It is price-wise comparable to BoxyCharm. However, Glossy Box, you really do not compare in any other way. And I say this begrudgingly because I got... I missed my deadline and I got renewed for a whole other year and I can't get out of it. So trying to make the most of it and we are hopeful that every month glossy box is going to amaze me and they're going to step up to the level of boxy charm which I cannot currently afford to get because I got roped into another year of glossy box and they're gonna give us all full size products a girl can dream can't she if you're interested I you guys know I'm a terrible salesperson I'm not even trying to sell or refer this. I'm just trying to review it, and I've pretty much probably turned everybody off. But hey, if you're interested, I got a link down below. Please click on it and go subscribe. I'll earn some glossy dots, which then I can never use to cash in unless I have an active subscription. But again, someday, new year, they're going to make some changes. Life is going to be better. Let's just go look at this. <laughs> Can you tell I've been sick? I have been filming several videos tonight, which is not your concern or problem. It's, and I'm a little tired. And my voice is going. I got my tea. It's cold. But it's wet. So, let's just take that. Sorry, I'm still putting stuff away from the last video. So, what do we got? And this month... I don't, I think they did have the sizzle in here. Sizzle, by the way, is the term. I know I said that in a previous video for the shreds. It's the official. So I'm trying to be all, you know, act like I am know what I'm talking about. So I'll refer to it as a sizzle. I think I used to call it hair. A lot of people call it worms. It's the sizzle. The sizzle. I dumped it out so I could get to the products. Glossy Box does a fairly decent information card every month. It is a full accordion fold, blah, 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 that will open up. Um, to be honest, I never really read this little blurb. I'm sure it tells me something about how fabulous this month is. I don't care. I go and I look at my products and I like to see what the full size is because we do not ever receive. I shouldn't say ever because that means ever, ever. We rarely receive full size products in Glossy Box. That's one of their downfalls. That's how they can never be comparable to BoxyCharm. I used to think when, you know, if I thought I could afford it, I was going to get both and do head to head. And I'm like, who am I joking? Glossy Box would never be able to make it. So if you have a lot of money and can afford to get both, go for it. But if you only can afford a $21 a month, I don't know. Maybe you do love Glossy Box. Maybe maybe I'm the, you know, my dad used to say, you know, maybe you're the problem. <laughs> when I would like have some challenges with employers. Sorry, did, did you hear that? That ringing? Yeah, that was my husband. I've been filming hmm, over an hour now and he is on his way home and he picked up supper, which I had pre-ordered. Anyway, I totally forgot where I was. So let's just say that we are looking at the information card, which does give you a nice little blurb, not a lot of detail. Actually, Sephora Play does a better job with their, they do the best information card. Um, 
from what I've seen from what my experience with boxes and it's not so bad they sometimes they'll have some tips this one oh it even has a tidbit and a coupon code so it'll tell you the products that are in your box and it um, gives you a sneak peek at the next month so what I am excited about though in December the um, quite often they do these custom boxes which are seriously like artwork and this is one of those months let's just hope the um, insides are as good so there's five products in here let's uh, get to getting them here is the first one that is like like a peen is what I'm gonna say it is now check out this packaging this is like serious money in packaging for what was not a lot of product I actually used all the product it was a moisturizer um, it it didn't have a lot in it, but it was fine. I liked it. It was kind of a gel-based moisturizer, and it was pink, and it's made in Italy, formulated in Italy, and a full size is $44. Now this, I had to guesstimate on the size because it's not listed there, but I'll have the prices going in there. And I, well, I think, you know, I appreciate the beauty of this. I would have been perfectly fine with double the amount of product in a simple tube just saying but I'm obviously not the target market so but now I don't know what to do with it because it's like you don't want to just throw it away because isn't it really pretty but really what am I gonna do with it you know it had lotion in it's like a dome shape but so that was it was okay it was a nice moisturizer am I gonna pay $44 for moisturizer never not gonna happen <laughs> next product <laughs> This is like, you guys are all going to comment, what is up with the attitude, Kathy? We usually watch you because you're cheerful and happy. Oh my goodness. Glossy box. If You're making me as crabby as I'm ever going to get. This is as crabby as I get, and I'm really not that crabby. So then, this must be like the French box, because this is De Bruyere. De Bruyere Beauté. Jumbo Eye Pencil in Bubble 07. It's a khaki gray shimmer. Now, I wanted to love this because I do like some crayons. Gosh, you can see how badly I, like, I used it. Um, does it? Oh, it doesn't twist. It's a, it's, I can't show you how much product. It's going to have to be a sharpened one. So, let's see. I got a few other swatches going on here. Okay, it's the middle one. So, I liked the color a lot. And I tried using it a few times. And I used it with different eyeshadow primers, and I would put it on like, and just basically cover my whole lid, because I thought, well, it's not super dark, it's kind of got this, sh you know, color shift, so I thought, it's kind of perfect for, you know, it's fine for work, for neutral. So I would put it on, I had it on today, I don't think there's any left, because it like super creased up and was gone, and I'm like, really? And I don't know, I can't remember if this is full size or not. I think it might be. I'll again have the info. Just see me like wipe my ear. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, um, I wanted to love it. It's $17 full size, but um, maybe if I just use it as an eyeliner, which I have plenty of eyeliners that are meant to be eyeliner. Um, yeah, it did not perform well for me, or maybe I don't know how to use it, which is quite obviously could be a choice. But yeah, I got it. To, it would crease right up and didn't work for me. Um, this, I think, I received from this brand before. It must have been in a glossy box. They had, like, it's a hair shampoo. This is Beautiful Nutrition is the company. It's a grapefruit detox, shine repair, sulfate-free shampoo. And um, it's supposed to reverse the dulling effect of hard water. I don't have hard water, um, but it was a very nice shampoo. It smells like grapefruit. <laughs> which I happen to love, so um, I did like this better. The other thing, it was supposed to be like an after rinse, and it was just really weird. It's like you shampoo and condition your hair, and then it was like this really watery, like, rinse, hence a uh, rinse, you put through your hair. I, I didn't care for that, but this I did like. It was a nice, and it's a nice size. You know, if I'm going to get shampoo in a $21 monthly beauty box, I guess that's the size I want to get. Then we got a... Little tiny Palmetto Derma Rejuvenating Antioxidant Mask. I used this a few times. It was fine. Um, yeah, you just, you know, put it on, wash it off. I didn't notice any, um, it says it's a soft clay mask. You did have to, like, cut off the end. It was, like, sealed. 
completely. I was trying to squeeze them out here. Ugh. It's really just this white, and when you put it on, it's got like some little beads for exfoliating. So, you know, it's, it's not like some clay mask where your like, face is covered in gray or something. It's got a little bit of a, <coughs> a scent that triggered my cough, but um, I'll finish using it up. I like to do face masks, so that was fine. And then we did get, I think this is full size, Gerard, Gerard Cosmetics. Never heard of them. A lot of times they get products I've never heard of in Glossy Box, which isn't a bad thing. I like to try new things. So this is a lip pencil, and it, does it have a color? Did I, it is in the color Cher. If Cher were a color, she would be kind of this dusty mauve. And I liked it. I have it on with my, um, I actually put it on my lips as a base. I did my whole lips, and then there is a lip product I received in my Ipsy that is a perfect match that I've been wearing over it, and that's what I'm wearing right now. So this is a win. This was a very good product I was happy to receive. And that is everything in my November glossy box. Um, I don't, they don't really have a theme. I'm trying to think if they have a theme. It was not my favorite box, really. You know, the most exciting thing is the um, lip pencil and a shampoo sample. The eye crayon thing didn't work for me. The mask is, eh, it's okay. And the moisturizer, well, there wasn't that much of it. And the packaging's cute. So, not my favorite glossy box by any means. But guess what? I'm still going to be getting it till next October. Yes, I will try and put on or t change my Krabby Panties and put on Happy Panties so that I give positive reviews. But the one thing about me is I am real and I am honest. So I, even if Glossy Box was sending this to me for free, I would give you the same review because that's the way it is. I don't believe in sugarcoating much of anything. Another trait, lesson, whatever you want to call it, that I learned from my father. So there you go. Let me know. And Glossy Box doesn't really follow a profile. You can review products and you earn these glossy dots. And the only thing you can redeem them for is boxes. However, you have to have an active subscription. And if you're already getting the box, you can't use your dots. Like, so I have a year subscription. I have to wait until, I don't know, October to cash them in, but then I'll get like double of the next month's or I have to renew my subscription to use them. So I'm hoping they would fix that up because I don't mind doing the reviews. I actually think that it is helpful to do reviews on products, but um, I don't know that they're doing anything with that information other than giving it back to the companies because they're not changing what they're putting in the boxes. And then you can also, I forget where my, my train of thought was. So you can do the reviews, you can earn these points. They'll do some specialty boxes every now and then that do have full-size products, but then you have to pay for them in addition. So right now they have a holiday box that's $40, and there's a lipstick in there I'd really like to try, but not for $40. I mean, if I'm gonna spend $40, I'm gonna go get some Kat Von D or something like that. So. Anyway, check it out. Let me know. And oh, they have, sometimes they'll have different boxes. They'll have slight variations. So if there are other Glossy Box people out there, just comment and let me know if you have some of the same dissatisfaction with the box or if I'm the one with the problem. I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong or have, you know, it's my issue. And then if you got something different, because I know they just do some slight variations and I'm just curious to see if you got better products, different products, worse products anything's possible but okay gonna go for now in case nobody told you today you matter you really do because you actually make me happy when boxes like this make me crabby so thank you for being the joy in my world because I needed it today I hope to see you again friends bye